My Thomas Story Library, Hank. This is a story about Hank, a special new engine the size of a giant. At first, the engines thought Hank was too big for his buffers, but when Thomas ran into trouble, they soon learned that Hank had a big heart too. Hank was a brand new engine who had just arrived on Sodor. Hank was very special indeed. He was a very big blue engine with bright red boiler bands. The fat controller, the fat controller invited all the engines to come and welcome Hank to the railway. When they saw how big Hank was, they gasped. Hank looks as strong as a giant, peeped Percy. I'm sure he isn't stronger than a Sodor engine though. Thomas puffed proudly. The fat controller had a lot of jobs for Thomas to do that day. First, you must take new machines from the docks to the factory, said the fat controller. Then you are to pick up slates from the quarry and deliver it to the shunting yard. Lastly, you must pick up an old tractor from Farmer McCall's farm and take it to the repair yard. Yes, sir, peeped Thomas. Hank thought Thomas must be a very important engine to have so many big jobs to do. Hank was pleased when the back controller told Thomas to show Hank all the sights of Sodor. You must be back by tea time for Hank's welcome party at Tidmouth, the fat controller said. Hank is a very special engine. As Thomas buffered up to the trucks that held the machines for the factory, Hank chuffed alongside him. Hank wanted to make friends with Thomas. Hello there, Thomas, whistled Hank. You look like the finest little engine I've ever seen. Thomas was not very pleased to be called little. I'm a tank engine, he huffed. Hank saw all the trucks that Thomas would be pulling. They looked very heavy. Let me take those trucks for you, chuffed Hank helpfully. No, thank you, peeped Thomas. I'm strong enough to pull much heavier loads than this, he said, and he puffed out of the docks. Hank hoped he hadn't hurt Thomas's feelings. Thomas and Hank arrived at the quarry. Hank was surprised. He was sure the fat controller had told Thomas to go to the factory first. I'm going to pick up these... I'm going to pick up the slate trucks. Thomas huffed. Hank was worried. The slate trucks looked heavy too. Hold your hoofing, Thomas, smiled Hank. Let big old Hank take those trucks for you. No, thank you, puffed Thomas politely. Tank engines can pull very heavy loads. Hank followed Thomas out of the quarry. Thomas was heaving and huffing. Handsome Hank gleamed as he chuffed down the tracks, but poor Thomas was puffing and panting. Hank saw children waving from the bridges. Hello, Thomas, they called. Good to see you, Hank whooshed happily. My Thomas, aren't you going to whistle hello? But Thomas didn't have quite, but Thomas didn't have quite enough puff. Thomas and Hank slowed at the farm, where Farmer McCall was waiting with the tractor on a flatbed trailer. Thomas was almost out of puff. <sighs> Hello, Farmer McCall, gasped Thomas. This is Hank, the new engine on Sodor. That's a mighty fine tractor you have, Hank, Hank whistled as it was coupled up to Thomas's trucks. Then he looked at, then he looked at Thomas. Say, you look all puffed out. I'll take the tractor for you. But Thomas did not want any help. Thomas huffed and puffed, but his wheels hardly turned as he tried to pull away. Take the pressure off your pistons, Hank whistled kindly. Gobble me up. But Thomas would not let. But Thomas would not let Hank help him. He struggled on crossly. Thomas and Hank passed through a station. Some visitors waved at Thomas, but Thomas had no spare steam to whistle back at them. So Hank blew a loud, long whistle for them both, 
which made Thomas even crosser. Suddenly, there was trouble. There was a flash and a fizz, a pop and a twang. The loading train was too heavy for Thomas. He had cracked a cylinder and couldn't move it, and couldn't move at all. Oh no! Thomas moaned. Now the deliveries won't be made, and you won't be back in time for your welcome party, Hank. All because I'm not a really useful engine, or even a very strong one. Hank sighed. He was sad for his new friend. I wanted to show you that I wasn't just a fine little engine, Thomas Dean. Thomas Dean stopped. I wanted to show you how strong I am, but I need your help now, please. Hank was delighted to help. You give the orders, I'll do the Persian. He puffed. Hank coupled up to Thomas. With Hank shunting the train. They delivered the tractor to the repair yard together. The workman was sorry to see that Thomas had broken down. Next, Hank and Thomas chucked into the shunting yards to deliver the slate trucks. I hope you're back on track soon, Thomas, called the yard manager as the trucks were uncoupled. Finally, Thomas and Hank delivered the new machines to the factory. Thank you, Thomas, said the factory manager. The engine's work was done. Hank proudly pushed Thomas all the way to Tidmouth. Thomas and Hank arrived just in time for the welcome party. Thank you, Hank," whistled Thomas. "Now all of Sodor knows what a strong engine you are." Hank smiled. "I know something too," he said kindly. "You're the engine everyone cares for on Sodor." That's really something to be proud of. Thomas was pleased. You are a special engine, he smiled to Hank, and a very special new friend too.